Just a quick heads up, this is not a tutorial, it's just a quick video of me talking about some of the things that I'm currently working on. And really in this video, I just wanna to talk to you about animating multiple layers in After Effects. Now, right after I said this, you're probably wondering, you're talking about After Effects, why are we in Blender? Well, I kinda of wanna connect the two. If you come from something like Cinema 4D or Blender, you've seen this kind of setup to where you can instantly animate multiple objects by dragging a null object like this. You have like a fall off option, so you can adjust this. And this comes in very handy if you need to animate multiple objects. It's super handy. So I was just thinking, I love that feature, especially in Cinema 4D. I mean, you can do some cool stuff, but even in Blender with geometry nodes, you can do some amazing things. Uh, but I wanted to see that kind of feature in after Effects, and I was just toying around using some expressions. So I wanna show you my uh, solution to that. So let's go to After Effects real quick. And for this example, I just have a blank um, composition. I do have this shape layer that has like the starting point and then the fall off right here. I do, I do have some controls. So I'm playing around with some stuff. It's it's still not there, but I kinda wanna show you the, my work in progress. So the next thing I would do, I would bring in some kind of layers. So I can bring in like all these logos and kinda randomly position them to kind of show you an example. So the idea is to have like multiple objects and instead of like animating them one by one, I just wanna quickly animate them with uh, the position of this uh, null object essentially. So let me kind of bring in more objects to show you how powerful it can be. So something like this, maybe duplicate that one, put it in here. So again, you can do it however you want to, but I just want to show you that I have quite a bit of objects and if I needed to bring them in, I would have to animate one by one and then offset. I mean, it's a lot of work, but with this setup, so I do have this object. Here it is, it's my uh, null object. So I already have it set up. So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight this and I guess in the future, I'll have a script. You just press it and automatically assign it to all the objects, but I'm going to paste this effect to it right now. So watch this. Nothing is happening when I move on this, but if I go to this layer here, and if I go to these controls, I have the fall off, that's good, but then I have like the scale minimum and maximum. So right now they're both set to 100, but if I set minimum to something like zero, now they all went away. So on this side, so I have this layer, on this side, it's all gonna be zero, on that side, it's gonna be 100, and in between is my fall off. So watch this, I can instantly animate them in like that. So that's definitely very powerful. You can just animate this in and you can extend your fall off by animating or kind of extending this slider right here. So that comes in very nice. So you can do that for also rotation. You can say, maybe I want you to start at like 90 degrees. So now if I pull in on this, it's gonna animate in. And then maybe like even position, you can say, hey, maybe I want you to start at the bottom here. So you can go to position minimum and kind of pull down on it to put it positioned at the bottom and just like that they will kind of slide in now let me animate this in so i'm going to select this maybe animate the position starting from here and maybe go to about eight seconds or so and i'm just going to slide it all the way to the other side like that so let's see what that looks like and let's do some easing as well so maybe like 100 influence here maybe 50 on this side so, so that it has some kind of smooth start and uh, end. So let's let's preview this. And by the way, this right here is a uh, guide layer, which means that you will not see it in the final render. And I'm, I keep hitting my mic, so I apologize for that. So obviously it does have expression, so it takes a little time to preview it, but it's, it's not too bad. Uh, and then if I preview this, let's see what that looks like. As you can see, it animates in nice. Now it does kind of snap when it arrives. So I did include this ease option that I'm playing around with. And you can say, hey, I want maybe I want to have like ease at first as each object leaves and then maybe not have any out. So I'm going to say maybe in only and let's preview that and see what that looks like. So essentially the idea is like you want to have like a smooth, yeah, and it kind of snappy. So maybe that would be useful, but not for me. So let's preview this again. So as you can see, it has like a smooth boom arrival. Yeah, and you can reverse that. Maybe you want to have like a smooth arrival and maybe linear takeoff. So I'm going to say out only and let's see what that looks like. So if I preview this, you can see now it smoothly arrives there. So you can definitely play around. Obviously, I'm using a lot of math. So After Effects has to generate some stuff, but it's it's pretty quick. So instantly you, cre you can create something very interesting and you can play around maybe with both. You can have in and out. So I definitely have all those options, but that's something definitely I'm playing around with. and. Uh, 
I, I think there's something there. I, I definitely, the reason why I'm doing this because recently I had to animate something that had a lot of different um, layers and different variables. And I, it was annoying to animate each element. So instead I created this and I kind of built on it. And uh, I definitely think uh, something like this might be useful, especially creating it as a tool so you can quickly apply it. You don't have to take the time to set it up. And I mean, it would take a while to set it up, but if you can do it instantly with a click, I think a lot of you and me including might find it very useful. So let me know what you guys think in, in the comments below. And uh, thank you for watching this video. But in the meantime, my name is Sergey Broknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.